Just to, you know, go out hard. I knew Dwayne was going to do the same thing. I said I wanted windy conditions and we didn't get them. Um, so that makes running the way Dwayne ran very, very smart. And he ran an incredible race. I mean, my hat goes off to him. Uh, I think he came through in 115. And if you want to beat a sitting kicker, you got to run away from him. And he did a hell of a job doing that. Johnny Gray's on tight. Sorry? Heading into the Johnny Gray zone type. type yeah, I mean, uh, 143 2 for him and 143 7. Uh, these are really, really good times. It's the deepest uh, field that I've ever faced in the U.S. Championship. You're a student of the sport. We're scrambling here to think if there's been any other times where there have been three Americans on the same race under 144. Not that I know of. I no, I mean, that's a, that's a very, very yeah. deep final. And like I said, out there, we're sending three really good guys to yeah. Moscow. And we really have an honest chance of putting three guys in the final, which, you know, would be a pretty pretty huge accomplishment for America. Accomplishment for America. You're in a little bit of a pickle at the 400-meter mark. Yeah, I, I would have liked to have moved up a little bit on the home stretch. Uh, Swinsky was on my shoulder, uh, just ahead of me. And I would have had to pump the brakes and go to the outside like I did on the corner. Uh, on the home stretch to get around him. I would love to have known if I could have gone when I wanted to move, what I could have done. That being said, that's the that's the risk you run uh, doing the sit and kick. Is that sometimes you can't get around bodies. So uh, I feel that I made some real big tactical errors, and I still ran 143.7 in only my second 800 final of the year. So I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. How healthy are you? Right now? Oh, I'm 100% I'm healthy. I, I felt as good as I've ever felt warming up, um, but I'm still raw. I mean, this is my second 800 final of the season. Typically, you'd want to have five, six, maybe seven going into this race, and we took a, a risk doing that with the express purpose of peaking. On, in August. Uh, What's your racing schedule look like from now till the game? Well, a lot of it will depend on meet directors, but ideally I'd like to run a 1500 in Monaco. So, meet director in Monaco, please give me a shot. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to run very, very fast in Monaco in the 15. And then I'd like to run uh, the London 800 uh, in preparation for uh, for Moscow. So, those would be my only two races. Did you and I about being in last at the bell? Yeah, you know, normally you like to, I like to move up one or two spots on the home stretch. Uh, I just couldn't move when I wanted to move today. That's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, I, I knew at about 500, there was just too much ground to be made up, and I kind of said, all right, I'm racing for a spot on this team now. And uh, I did everything I could to catch Dwayne, but he just, you know, he ran away from me. He did a perfectly executed race, and that's why he won, won today, yeah. And yeah, yeah my heck was up to race, good time, uh, yeah. you gave up the time. I mean, how, the I, 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 I want to again say I did everything I could today to try to win. Um, Dwayne beat me fair and square. With that being said, there's a lot of relief that comes with the streak being over because as, as long as I was winning 800 titles, I was going to keep doing it. I would have kept running the 8 until 2020 if I had the streak alive. And I've said multiple times that I want to go for the 8 and the 15 in 2016. And if I'm going to make a realistic shot at that, I need to run the 1500 at a championship race. And I think next year and possibly uh, 2015, I need to really jump in that 1500 to learn what it takes to get through those rounds as well. So now with the streak broken, uh, there's a lot of relief that comes with that. What's going to take for you to make a move to the 15? Uh, well, next year and 2015 will be a chance to really experiment with that. Mark Rowan has always said that he's if he's great at coaching one event, he's great at coaching a lot of events. But if he has one that he thinks he can really coach, it's the mile. And uh, I am interested to, to test his uh, test his, ex his expertise. I think that I could run uh, a, a hell of a, of a 15. I've run 336 off 800 meter training. Um, if I if I do the training that I need and, and you know up my mileage by about 10%, lose five pounds. Uh, really, a lot of the stuff in the gym is going to have to be transition a little bit more from explosiveness to more of a endurance type race. The eight to the 15 jump is huge. Maybe one of the biggest jumps in track and field because you go from running positive splits to often running negative splits. That being said, we watched the 15 yesterday, and I was kind of licking my lips, saying, "I think I like my shot if we go out in you know 62, 63." So. Uh, I think that we're going to find out in the next couple of years what I can really run the 15. Say, so Nick, you, you and Dwayne could have been uh, really deflated after running so fast and getting fourth in the fifth in the Olympics. Yeah. But instead, it's, it sounds like it's almost springboarded both of you. I think that we took a lot of confidence from that. Um, you know, America has always been the most accomplished nation in the 400, and we didn't put a single guy in the 400 last year. And there, Dwayne and I are kind of looking at each other like, you know, what are we doing here to get in this final? And not only that, but we brought our best product ever when it counted. And we know we can run with those guys. Maybe we can't come through in 114 with Rudisha. Maybe Dwayne can. I can't. But uh, we can run with those guys, and in the right race, we can come home with the medal. And I think the three guys that we're sending this year, I would be surprised if one of us doesn't come home with the medal this year. You, you hope for some bad weather in Moscow, maybe some rain. That seems to be rain, cold, it, cold and rain doesn't affect me because I train it yeah. nine months out of the year. And the, the worse the weather conditions are, usually the better it is for me. So um, I, I felt like I dodged a bullet with the rain coming in and not having to run through 95 in 100% humidity today. Last year in London, you said you didn't physically think you could run that fast. Yeah. I mean, now you've done it. Yeah. 
So, kind of, what's your new limit? I try not to put any limits on it anymore. I, you know, I, I also said that we probably wouldn't be running as deep uh, today as we did on Thursday. So, what do I know about the sport? Um, you know, I think putting limitations on an athlete is, is always silly because isn't that what the sport's about? Is kind of redefining limits. So, uh, you know, to run 143.7 in only my second 800 meter final this year, making a bunch of terrible tactical mistakes, makes me feel really good that I could maybe possibly shave off another second and get down into the 142 minutes. That's what I'm going to aim for in Moscow. All right. Good luck. Thank Thanks, you. guys.